In this video, we will cover the basic transactions and tools you would need to know in order to start debugging. And the first thing uh, that we want to cover is the two transactions, the SE38 and the SE37. Both of these transactions will display ABAP code. SE38 will display the ABAP code for programs, uh, which are which you can execute uh, on their own, and SE37 holds the code or the, allows you to display function modules. Now, don't worry about the difference between the two. We'll have a look at that in the RISEF, and we'll cover that a bit later on. But just know that SE38 is to see programs and SE37 is to see function modules. And before we start, let's first of all make sure that when we start our debugging, we are looking at the most up-to-date and newest interface. And we do this by first going to transaction SE80, which is the ABAP development workbench. And this is really where the developers use to start writing their code. But for our purposes, we actually want to go to utilities on the top here. And we want to go to settings. We want to go to ABAP editor. And we want to choose front end editor new. This ensures that when we are looking at ABAP code, we're using the most the newest UI to look at the code. And this is a little bit nicer. So let's go to the transaction SE38 and let's look at this program here. So I've put in my program. I now click on display and let's have a look what actually ABAP code looks like. And as you can see, the code is pretty readable. Now, the first thing you will see on the top is all of this wording in grey um, after the star here. And this actually is just comments. And the comments are put there by the developer so that we actually know what the program is doing. And usually what a, a developer will do is that at the start of a program, he'll have his comments to say what the program does. And sometimes also, all through the code, there'll be some comments to tell you what the code is actually doing. And the first thing to do before you debug is to actually read the comments of the program to understand what it's doing. So let's go back to the presentation. Um, and I'm going to add a note here. Um, the first thing you need to do is update the settings in SE80 so that we're using the newest UI or front end for debugging. So now let's go back to SAP. Um, let's go back to the main screen of SE38, uh, Display Programs. And I just want to show you this button here, which is the Execute button or F8 button. And if you press this, it would execute the program that you're currently displaying. Now, just note that the program I have here is somewhat special. It cannot be executed. But in most cases, when you put your program in there, you can execute it by pressing the F8 button. So now let's go back to the code and I want to talk about a little bit about the first core concept that you should know about, which is the breakpoints. Now, the breakpoints here, as you can see, um, what it does is to tell SAP, if you are executing this code and you hit this breakpoint, stop the transaction and then show me the code. And from there, you are entering the debug mode you can look at the code and you can step by step execute the program. Now, the benefit of this is that you don't have to go through all the SAP code step by step or go into immediately debug mode when you run a transaction. You can go, okay, I think my problem is around here. I will, prick, I will put a breakpoint at this point. So when you run the transaction, SAP will just keep on going until it hits a certain point and then it'll stop and then it'll present you with the debug mode, right? So this is the most efficient and fastest way we start our debugging process. Rather than running a transaction, going to the debug mode, and having to step through all of the SAP code until we reach the part that we're interested in, what we do is we go into the program, we go to the part in which we are interested, and we put a breakpoint and say, SAP, run your, SAP, you run your ABAP code as per normal, but when you hit this point, 
stop and let's start the debugging process. So in this example, let me go through and let's create a breakpoint just here in the code. Now, there are actually two types of breakpoints. The first is where you apply a breakpoint only for this session in SAP. And the next one is actually when you create a breakpoint for all of your sessions, all of your login for the particular client, for the particular user over a particular time period. I usually use the latter because it just works everywhere. So let's go ahead and I'll create it. And there, as you can see, it's now created the breakpoint for my user for two hours. Now that we've set the breakpoint, let's have a look at it working. Now this breakpoint is actually in the sales order. So let me now start by creating a sales order. And the first thing that you notice is the program is running as normal and it's not going into debug mode at all. And this is because it, the program actually hasn't hit my breakpoint yet. We haven't reached a point where the program is executing or hitting my breakpoint. So let me carry on. I'll create the sales order as normal and then we'll keep on going until we actually hit the breakpoint. So I'm going to enter the sold to party as normal. It's asking me to select the sales area. I'm doing that now. Saying deciding the ship to party. That's okay. It's saying okay, dynamic credit check can be cannot cannot be done. And now, only now has it hit the particular code in which I put the breakpoint and it's now gone into debug mode. Now that we are in debug mode, let's look at the second core principle that we need to know, which is how do we step through the code. The first thing you see is these four buttons and they are F5 for going through a single step of the code, F6 which will skip when you skip a function module or subroutine, F7 which is go to the last line of the function module back to the point uh, of origin where you entered the function module and F8 which is execute the code keep on executing the code and don't stop. So first I want to actually go through how we actually can debug or step through a program and this is important because this actually is the basis of how we do our debugging. So in SAP there's actually four debug commands that you should know about. And they're represented by four keys on the keyboard. So F5, F6, F7, and F8. So how do I use these keys? Well, F5 means single step, which means that run the code one step at a time. F6, which is execute the function module of subroutine, but don't show it to me. So what happens is if I hit a function module, the system will just um, execute it in the background and then just bring me to a point after the function module has been executed. F7 will advance me to the last line of a function module or subroutine and this is great so that it can take me to the original point in which I entered that function module or subroutine. So let's have a look at how we would use these transactions or these keys and we start off with F5 which is the single step. Now I have below a program that has a number of commands in it, it has an if statement and it has a function module. So, so when I press F5 it would go to command 1, command 2, it would go through the if statement, it would do anything in the if statement, it would go to the end if and when it hits the function module, it would actually go into the function module and it would ex execute each command line in that function module. When it finishes, it would go back to command uh, number three and of course, end the program. Now let's try it with F6, which is the key, uh, which is the skip. And it will, so it will go to command one, it will go to command two. And when it hits the if statement, it would execute it but it would not show in the program. It would still execute it, it's just that it, the program would skip over it for the purposes of debug. And this is the same for the function module as well. It would still execute the function module, 
but we would not see it we would just see uh, the next line to execute which is in line command 3 and if I press F6 again it would go to the end uh, of the code F7 is very similar to F5 except when you press F7 if you are in an, an if statement a loop or a function module you would exit that subroutine and go back to the main program so let's have a look at it I'll use F5 for the single step and when we hit our subroutine which is the if loop or function command let's then use the F7 so let's start off with the F5 I'm gonna change the color so I exit com I execute command 1 as per normal command 2 and then I go into the if statement then we hit this function module here right and then we keep on going with the F5 command it goes into the function module and now let's say I don't want to execute the function module I know what it does I just want to go back to the main I would then press F7 it would go straight through and then it would bring me to command number three so F7 is very useful uh, to break the, the subroutine and go back to the main code and that's what we usually use it for so F7 can also be used like F5 so if I use the command I can use command 1 command 2 I use the if statement it goes in there uh, once I'm in the if statement of course uh, if I press F7 of course it will still execute the code in SAP but it would not show me all of the steps to execute it would just bring me out of um, the if statement and as you can see in the code it would then call the function module now in the function module it would behave the same way we call the function module it would again skip the function module or for us to debug it would still execute it then it would go to command 3 and it would go to the end of the code so the last command is F8 which is exit debug um, and you would use like this so let's say I do F5 I do a single step command 1 command 2 and then I decide look I know what it's going to do I now want to just basically exit the code and if I press F8 the program would just go straight to the end and present me with the standard SAP screen that I just debugged right so F8 really just doesn't stop it well it will stop if there's another debug points and so forth but in effect if I press F8 it means exit the debug screen so a tip always use the keys on the keyboard the F5 F6 F7 F8 rather than trying to press the button on the SAP GUI it's just faster when you're doing your practicing and once you get used to using the keys your debugging will be a lot faster because the other hand on the mouse can do other things so always use the keys rather than the buttons in SAP when doing debugging so let's go back to the SAP debugging screen and I'll press F8 which would then exit the debug and as you can see it has brought me back to the sales order screen